Hi SQL folks, welcome to another tutorial from SQL Maestros. In some of my previous videos, I have been talking about T-SQL anti-patterns. You know those bad T-SQL which are not really good for the optimizer in sense that you don't really get a very efficient execution plan, the query might suffer in terms of execution time or the plan itself will not be optimal. So you know it's always good to avoid that bad T-SQL and this is where this term comes from T-SQL anti-patterns and many of these anti-patterns are commonly known. So in our YouTube channel, you can search on the keyword T-SQL anti-pattern and you might get a couple of them. In those videos, I have talked about a new um, event, event in extended events called query underscore anti-pattern. This is an event that was added in SQL Server 2022. I've talked about it and I thought, why not demo that event? So I have a SQL Server 2022 VM now with me and I am going to demonstrate how you can use that event to capture all those bad T-SQL, the T-SQL anti-patterns uh, <clears throat> using that event, query underscore anti-pattern. So let's get started. I'm going to use two common anti-patterns here just for the purpose of demo to show you how you can work with extended events and how you can use that event. Uh, the first one, of course, is the most common one that I see, which is implicit conversion. And especially when that implicit conversion will, uh, will prevent the optimizer from performing an index seek operation. That's one. And the other one is going to be uh, a large in predicate, you know, so which uh, means that uh, uh, which may translate into multiple or conditions. So those kind of bad T SQL, the bad queries. Okay, so let's let's get started. Before I show you the queries, let's first set up extended events and uh, let's create a session um, in extended events and use that uh, event T SQL um, uh, query anti pattern. Sorry, that's the one. Okay, so let's uh, jump over to extended events. I'm expanding extended events here. We have sessions. <clears throat> right click on sessions right click and let's click on new session here just call it um anything for the purpose of demo i'm just going to put a, a, a just quickly something like test and then jump over to the event section in the event section i'm going to search on query underscore anti pattern let's type this down okay let me zoom in to show you this is the one that i want to capture Okay, this is a new event in SQL Server 2022. Let us select this and then click on this arrow and get over here. Okay, one thing I want to show you is when you select this event, <clears throat> look at the event fields here. So there's only one event field here, which is anti-pattern type, which is kind of, um, of course, the description says indicates what type of anti-pattern this is which means this event in itself is not going to give you the SQL text or the query hash or the execution plan or the client application name or whatever it is. If you want all of that, you will have to use the um, global fields, or what we call as actions in extended events terminology. So I am going to take this, bring it on the right side here on selected events <clears throat> and let's go and click on configure. And here, let's pick up global fields. What do you really want? So let's scroll down to S and let's take up first thing. Yeah, SQL text. And then let's also take query plan. So we can take the query hash, query plan hash. There you go. We will take the plan handle. That's good enough. And from that, we can extract the plan itself. Query plan hash is also another thing that you can take. Fair enough. And uh, that's good enough. Let's click on OK. Uh, RB, I mean, storage by default could be ring buffer. That's all fine. Uh, let's go and add uh, ring buffer. That's fine. And the default values are all good. Let's click on OK. The next thing is right click on this event and start uh, on the session and start it and right click and then watch live data. There are a lot of other things that you will have to do when you're configuring extended events. This is just a very quick demonstration. So I am not following best practice practices here. This is just for the purpose of demo. Now the uh, session is running the and it says retrieving event information from server. Let's jump over to the query and let's uh, execute the first anti pattern here. 
In this one, we are causing an implicit conversion from varchar to nvarchar. Account number is a varchar uh, of varchar data type. And on the right side of the equality operator, you have nvarchar. This is going to trigger an implicit conversion. Let's turn on the actual execution plan. And you can see this for yourself. Let's go and execute this and jump over to the execution plan. Now in the days and in these versions of SQL Server, if you don't have this extended event, um, you know, the event query anti-pattern, the select operator still gives you that warning that there is something bad going on there. And you can zoom in and you can see that there is convert implicit here. Okay, let's just uh, activate this zoom in. Okay, there you go. Oops, sorry. I want to show you the tooltip, right? So let's go and look into the tooltip there convert implicit. So I mean, of course, that, that also gives you an indication. But anyway, if we jump over here, you can see in the live data uh, of the extended event session query anti pattern. <clears throat> and let's zoom in into the so this gets captured. Yes. And what is the info that we have taken? So anti pattern type, it tells you type uh, convert preventing seek because it's always uh, also preventing seek operation. You have the plan handle, the query plan hash, and our query, the SQL text. A lot of good info that you need. Let's jump over here and let's cause a large in expression, right? Just a, just a dummy query uh, from somewhere uh, out of nowhere uh, where you have a large uh, uh, in uh, predicate here. Uh, not, not the best way to... Uh, write the SQL code and this is what we want to capture. Let's go and execute this and uh, jump over to uh, the watch the live window here. And again, you can see this third one, which says large number of in predicate. And of course, you again get the plan handle the query hash and <clears throat> the SQL text. Well, with this with this uh, event query anti pattern, it really helps and makes the life a lot more easier to capture all those bad T SQL code. We had uh, different ways of doing that earlier, like, you know, uh, looking into the execution plan, shredding the execution plans from the plan cache and searching inside that XML, which was kind of very CPU intensive code on production server. And if you don't want to do it on the production server, we used to kind of back up the uh, DMV output into a baseline database and take that offline into our own test servers and do all that, all, all of that CPU intensive work and mathematics on the test server. So th there were a couple of these steps involved. But now with this uh, event in SQL Server 22, it becomes a lot more easier to track to capture these commonly known T SQL anti patterns. Hope this quick demo was useful and you have learned something new. Do share this uh, video with your friends and colleagues. Do subscribe, do comment uh, that will uh, help spread the word. And also friends, make sure that you are exploring the upcoming masterclass, uh, which is just around the corner. And um, yeah, 40 hours of deep dive content, uh, something really practical, real world, to the point and crisp stuff, 40 hours. Four hours each day into 10 days will give you that content. You will attend live and you get the class recordings for a lifetime. That is the real value so that you can watch the content as many times as you want, anywhere, anytime, and as many times. All right, hope you're enjoying all the good stuff uh, from in the SQL Server world from us, and I will see you soon in another video. Happy SQL!